NLC makes it difficult for Ashiwa Ju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, and I've told him we will not relent. <laughs> you will have to tell us, okay, what you are doing with all the money, without you know, without honestly, sincerely, you know, giving, giving real concentration and focus to the people who spent their life making Nigeria to work. NSC has given condition to accept the new minimum wage. Says this is the only condition in which we will accept it. As negotiation for a new minimum wage approaches, the Nigerian Labor Congress insists that any agreement, any agreed amount must align with current economic condition in the country. We will not take less from anyone. Adam Soshomole is the one the presidency is sending to have the negotiation with them. NSC President Joe expressed this stand at the 19th edition of NLC 2023 Hamantin School in Abuja. Represented by Vice President Benjamin, Joe highlighted the necessity for government at all levels to acknowledge the increasing difficulty of, li of life and living condition. He said, the removal of subsidy on petroleum products has further worsened the challenges faced by working people that is unleashing several pain contribution and contributing to the gap of inflation, increasing inequality and poverty in the land. We must reckon that a well-motivated and well remunerated workforce has a positive impact on productivity and national development. As we anticipate the commencement of negotiations for the national minimum wage in 2024, we seek the understanding of all stakeholders to ensure that we use this opportunity to arrive at a minimum wage with the prevailing cost of living. NSC president said the ultimate goal of labor was, was living wage that covers the cost of living and make allowance and savings for the people. Again, he conditioned the, the recent assortment on workers and their, and their leader in Imo State. He condemned it saying it is not acceptable and will not be allowed. He said this is enshrined in section 40 of the 1999 constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended and the ILO Convention 87 and 98 on Freedom of Association and Collective Bargaining. This should equally be condemned by all people of goodwill. The only thing that we can, uh, we can look at in this to elevate the pain of the people is to address all labor issues. There are also, there are also to return to the so-called they are also to return the so-called ghost workers their pay in Imo State. Hopo Zedema has undermined the people. We also want that matter to be, to be looked at and ratified before we can accept anything coming from the government. Other than that, we stand on our ground and we promise to cripple the nation and the economy if our, if our requests are not listened to and attended to immediately. So my people, this is exactly what is going on. This is what is happening. And every single person can see. It is important. It is expedient that, you know, uh, we, we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to move forward. As a nation, as a people, you know, the things that we are seeing and the things that we have come to accept, you know, we must, we must be very careful how we work in these areas. We must negotiate very correctly and very carefully and ensure that at the end of the day, things are done properly. Nigerians cannot continue to allow the same thing over and over again. There's a lot going on at the moment. There's a lot going on. And if there's any reason why Nigerians must rise beyond the current economic struggle that, she, that she's faced with now, is for you and I to say enough is enough, and we rise up and we do all that is needed, all the necessary to, to ensure that things are done decently and in order. Have you looked at the way things are recently? Have you seen how things have gone from bad to worse? You know, Tinubu removed first subsidy on his very first day in office. And some people say, oh, he did not remove it. Imagine eh, his aide came to Arise TV and was saying they don't know what they are saying. Uh, Rufa was saying he's a badly uh, raised boy. He's against uh, Tinubu. He's this, he's that. Excuse me. Did he, what did he say? Did he tell Tinubu to do what Tinubu did on the first day of office? Let's call his speed his speed 
and let's stop apportioning blame where it is not necessary. Let's make sure that things are done decently and in order and the right things are done. You cannot continue to lie and pretend and think that everything will go suddenly, you know, fine. It, do it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If we want this nation to improve, everybody have a part to play. And it's so important. It is the gospel truth. It is true beyond you can imagine it. It is what it is. You know. And so labor, uh, part, uh, labor national labor is fighting for the people. Not labor party, but labor as it were. Is fighting for the good of Nigerians. And so when they call for a meeting, everybody must line up. Because if the minimum wage is affected and it goes well, it will affect you positively. So why not stay with the people that fight for you? Some persons are fighting for Tinubu. Some people are fighting for this. Now they've gone and they spent only on transport to COP28, 1 billion. What do you have to say to that? Because when we speak now, some people will say, ah, yeah, you are doing this, you are doing that. But you'll be honest for once. Tell us with your own heart and with your own mind, though. Uh -huh. Because the worst thing that can happen to any man is that he deceives everybody and can actually think, and he's also deceiving his own, his own self. Uh -huh. it's, it's, worse, it's bad enough that you're deceiving everybody. Then you're deceiving your own self. That's the one of the worst things that can happen to anybody. It's bad enough that you are deceiving, you think you are deceiving everybody. Then you're also deceiving yourself. Ah, you need help, oh. serious help, I can assure you, for free. You see, so these are some of the things that are happening. And if there is any time in our history, in our nation, where yeah, everybody will need to take a stand and ensure that the right things are done. It is now more than ever before. So nobody should sit back there and think that suddenly things are going to fall in place. If we do not rise up together and say enough is enough and, you know, end some of these abnormalities that we see happening before our very own eyes. Nigeria is in that space, is in that place right now where decisions are, is a formative stage. This formative stage, it will not just go on like that. If you sit down, fold your arms and do nothing. What do we do? We all rise up together and ensure that the right things are done. And those who are, you know, orchestrating and leading in the right direction, we support them. We, we support them to ensure that, you know, they can, they can forward the course in order to effect you know, a meaningful government for every one of us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.